The Abercrombie glow up has been crazy to see. You know, back in the day, you'd walk into an Abercrombie and you start to ask yourself, why do I smell Axe body spray? Well, take a look at them now. So today I wanna show y'all my most worn Abercrombie pieces, the pieces I've gotten the most bang for the buck and are the most stylish, so let's get it. As you can see, the rebrand, the quality, and the cuts of their garments. And if you look at the articles and the stock price, there is no doubt that Abercrombie is killing it. So let's start with our first piece. I'm gonna move the thing a little bit. Our first piece is going to be these double knee pants in a nice wash brown colorway. So a while back, I shot a campaign with Vans and I wore these pants with those sneakers and Vans loved it. So that says a lot. Full transparency, I have worked with Abercrombie in the past, but a lot of these pieces I purchased myself. This isn't sponsored or anything, so I can tell you if I don't like something, like some of their pants, I just don't really like. They have a weird fit to it. You'll see later in the cargo pants, there's something I don't like about it. But overall, they have some solid stuff. The wide leg fits works with a lot of sneakers. I really dig the wash on this as well. And of course, they have a ton of options and colorways. Camo, light wash, dark wash denim. It's just clean and there's definitely something for everyone. I personally like to style it in a monochromatic look or with their varsity jacket. Yeah, let's talk about the only thing I really don't like about this is their sizing is just inconsistent. So these green cargo pants, which I'll talk about later, and these pants are a size 30 and they fit differently. So this fits more like a 32, that fits more like a true 30. So I don't know what's up with that, just keep that in mind. Not the biggest deal because I wear belts anyways, but if you're on the fence, I would suggest trying it on in person. But if it's a little bit oversized, you can just wear it with the belt. So yeah, the double knee pants, love these. Next up, we have their vintage tee. Now, I've had this one, which I've enjoyed, but they just rolled out this cropped tee. And yeah, the difference is night and day. Of course, you can always take a garment to the tailor, but I usually like to wait for a lot of clothes to pile up, do a trip to the tailor all in one go. This right here, it fits perfect right out the box. So for those of you guys about to ask, I am five foot seven, I weigh 169 pounds, bulk and season. Got a slim muscular build, and this is a size medium. This one specifically has the wash black slate gray colorway. And if you're looking online, this is their premium heavyweight version. So it does have a bit of a drape, plenty of colors. And I'd say if you're used to that Uniqlo U oversized tee, this is very similar. There's just a lot better washes over at Abercrombie. I still love my Uniqlo tees, but I enjoy these washes more. And it does come with a reverse stitch. I don't think it's called a reverse stitch, but it looks like it's flipped inside out. And you know, I'm indifferent about it. I don't really care about that, but it still looks really good. The sizing and the fit of the shirt is all that matters. Awesome tee, plenty of colorways too. So sticking to that crop theme, the next piece is this cropped long sleeve over here. It comes in a olive green colorway and this does have a really nice texture to it. So yeah, it has that same inside out stitching detail. It's hemmed to be shorter and I just love the texture on this. It's very soft and cozy and sizing wise, it's more of a relaxed fit. So not slim fits, not oversized, a little bit of in between. And because it's a long sleeve, you just want to wear it as a long sleeve. You wouldn't want to throw a layer over it because you might as well just throw a regular undershirt or a regular t-shirt underneath. This is a long sleeve. Showcase it's a long sleeve. That's just my philosophy. Here you see me styling with some wide fit cargos. That's basically how I'll do it. The next piece is their cargo pants. Abercrombie's pants are pretty solid. Sometimes they're a bit inconsistent, but this pair of pants, especially beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. So I've had these pair of cargo pants, which I've enjoyed, but it was a colorway I just don't wear as often. These ones are something I'm gonna wear all the time. So we got a wide fit sizing in this beautiful olive colorway, not too vibrant, not too forest green. It already comes with that worn in washed look, but I do have two problems with these pair of pants. The button is a little bit hard to mess with. If you're, you know, unbuttoning, you gotta use the bathroom and the zipper just, you can already see it. The zipper right there, there's a little pull tab to it. It just sticks out. I think it's so dumb. Obviously this is easy to remedy. You just snip it off as bars. But yeah, just take a look. It looks goofy in my opinion. So I don't know why they do that. That's a waste of material. Abercrombie, if you're listening. Otherwise, these joints go hard. The wash, sizing, and cuts, it just looks so good, even if the overall fit is simple. Of course, there are plenty of other colorways, but I do recommend olive green wash. It's much of a more timeless wash. And these cargo pants especially will never go out of style. This has definitely been one of my favorite pickups so far. 
Now up next, we have their pop over essential hoodie. Mine is in a heather gray colorway. And this hoodie is soft and lightweight because there is a misconception out there that heavyweight always means more premium. And in most cases, yes, it's true, but there are some great lightweight fabrics that are soft and plushy, comfortable, which is this one right here. The sizing on this is relaxed as well. Not full blown oversized, not slim. And as you can see, they have a buffet of colorways. I don't think you can go wrong with their brown colorway or their wash black colorway. They got hoodies for your favorite teams, crazy patterns. There is something for everyone. And I do like their zip up hoodie as well, but they're just currently out of stock. And they have this in a cropped boxy sizing as well. But I just mainly wear this as an under layer piece because it's not oversized and heavy weights. This actually layers well in all of my jackets from slim fits, oversized as well. Definitely an essential hoodie. So our next piece is the summer linen camp collar shirt. This was definitely required during the warmer months. He's got a light and breathable fabric, plenty of movement. And I really dig this embroidery over here. You know, for summertime fits, there's less complexity, less layering. And so this embroidery detail, definitely helps a lot. The overall fit is okay. I do prefer either really oversized or very slim fits. This is just an in-between, but it still works. Honestly, any of their summer camp colors are pretty solid. And I have these white ones over here, which I enjoy as well. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with their tank tops. So I'm wearing this same tank top underneath right here, just in a more darker gray colorway. Y'all know I'm always an advocate for Hanes or Fruit of the Loom tank tops, but with those tank tops, they do feel a little bit cheaper, which is perfectly fine. They are cheap anyways, but they're really just meant to be tucked in. They're extra long, super tight fitting. These ones are slim fitting, not as long, so they can be worn on their own as well, which is what I really dig about these. When it gets really hot out here, I live in Vegas, it's gonna be 110. These are gonna be my go-tos. And you can definitely tell when you feel the fabric, it's very soft compared to the Fruit of the Loom tanks. You got that nice rib texture. Just can't go wrong with the tank. It's a staple for spring and summer. Use it for underlayers, use it for your layering. And those have been my most worn Abercrombie pieces. They've got a lot of great stuff. You know, it used to be, people wanted to be an Abercrombie model and you gotta be yoked and all that. You probably spray Axe body spray. That's no longer the case. If you're really interested in fashion, I would highly recommend just studying Abercrombie's rebrand. Their stock market is going crazy right now. So they're doing something right. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more. And until then, stay fly, deuces.